Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Now, I know what you're thinking. A talking bag of popcorn reviewing a movie all about anthropomorphic talking food? Ought to be a slam dunk, right? Well, I am shocked. Shocked to report that despite the ingenuity of the world that is created in Sausage Party, this animated film is only fitfully funny and largely an unfocused mess. Sometimes, literally, a mess. Dark, twisted, profane for profanity's sake, and incessantly puerile, Sausage Party wears out its welcome well before the go-for-broke climax. And when I say climax, I really mean it. Well, maybe I'll just stop there. That's it for the capsule review. Let's get in-depth. Now, Sausage Party demonstrates its frenetic, muddled nature right out of the gate in an opening sequence where all of the food items sing a song to each other to celebrate the hope that comes with the opening of the grocery store where they all live. According to the song's lyrics, every product's greatest desire is to get selected by a human who they refer to as gods, that'll be important later, and to be taken home with them, something they refer to as going to the great beyond, where life is just fantastic. At least that's the general impression I got from the song, because while it was going on, we keep cutting between all of the various food products, all of whom have funny punny names on the labels which I wanted to read of course and each product is brought to life in funny though admittedly stereotypical ways the bagels speak with Yiddish accents the jars of sauerkraut are goose stepping around and being led by a Hitler figure and one of the most prominent if the most annoying characters is well he's a douche and being a douche he says things like bro a lot you get the idea Anyway, this opening song trots out all of these characters and these ironic lyrics with such manic ferocity that I was a bit lost right away. And you can't laugh if you can't focus. It would not be the last time while watching this movie that I would be merely perplexed rather than entertained. The writing team of Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg, who have always populated their crude comedies with relatable, sympathetic characters, have made a rare misstep here. While the world building is superb and pays off in some great conceptual humor, conceptual humor doesn't result in very many actual belly laughs. For that, you need jokes, and the jokes are just not really there all that often. The plot meanders and takes some really weird detours, especially concerning the douche character, that end up going nowhere and make this movie seem much, much longer than its 89 minute running time. But the biggest fumble this movie makes is having a central theme which doesn't quite gel. Sausage Party, a movie about foul mouth food, seems to be trying to set itself up as a commentary on religion with some characters debating the wisdom of having blind faith in the great beyond, or being respectful of others' beliefs even when you know those people are like totally factually wrong, man, mocking people for their belief in heaven, and also illustrating the need for people to find meaning in the supernatural. Somewhere in there, the movie tries to take on the Arab-Israeli conflict in the Middle East with its buddy plot involving a nevishy bagel and a I don't know what this is, a sort of flatbread thing. This movie definitely tries to say something about religion, but in the end, I really don't think it arrives at a central message. It just tries to have it all ways at once, and it culminates in a massive food orgy in which the movie literally does have it all ways at once. Look, merely describing this film makes it sound better than it is as a whole. I mean, look at this cast. Seth Rogen, Michael Sarah, and Jonah Hill as potty mouth sausages. Kristen Wiig as a sexy, plump hot dog bun whose mouth really resembles a talking... Well, you know, it's even got meatloaf in a nice little cameo as... Well, I don't have to spell that out for you, do I? Also included, food that gets murderously violent against humans in a store-wide battle to the death. A Mexican cantina populated by talking, mustachioed bottles of tequila and hot sauce. And where we find a lesbian taco shell voiced by Selma Hayek building towards an envelope-pushing food orgy that literally closes the film with a bang. I mean, merely listing the things in this film makes it sound pretty good on paper. Like I said, the world created by Sausage Party is wild and imaginative and indicative of a movie that is far more entertaining than it ends up being. I must admit to long stretches of this film in which I stared open-mouthed at what I was watching. Not because I was having fun, but just because I could not believe what I was seeing. I'm afraid that I can't ultimately recommend attending this sausage party because it contains no more entertainment value than a small bag of popcorn. Sausage Party commits the ultimate sin for a comedy. No, it didn't offend me. It simply didn't make me laugh enough to recommend it. The film, whose cast, writers, and producers have such an impressive comedic pedigree, too often is content to serve up mere audacity in the place of actual punchlines. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. Also, take a moment to click the icon right down there to visit our channel. While you're there, do us a favor and click subscribe so you'll find us easier next time. Please be sure to share your comments on Sausage Party in the comments below. I'd really like to know what you thought and whether you laughed more than I did. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the great beyond!